We start out the practice footage with Jalen Key, clearly in a knee brace. He went down in week one and um, clearly not 100% by any means, which uh, isn't the best news for this Alabama defense. Number four right here, that is Christian Story. Number 12 before that, that is Antonio Kite. Number 13 is Malachi Moore. Malachi Moore um, clearly at, at full strength going up for a football right there. Uh, number two is Caleb Downs. We knew he would be tested, and he was tested um, by Texas, uh, going up against Wor Xavier Worthy is going to be a tall task for anybody. Jake Pope right here, haven't seen him um, just yet. How about this footage of Tony Mitchell? Um, some good footage of him. I think that's the first practice footage we've seen of Tony Mitchell. Um, you know, we didn't get any during fall camp, maybe a photo or whatever. Here are the uh, defensive backs. That's number three, Taryn Arnold, working against number uh, nine. That is Trey Amos. Uh, and then you have number one right there, Kool-Aid. Coach Saban working with the defensive backs. And um, look, these defensive backs, it's been an inconsistent season because you've had a game against middle and then you've had a game against Texas. Two completely different caliber of opponents. So, again, you go into this game against South Florida where Alabama is the 31-point favorite. So Coach Saban says in games like these, you focus on yourself. How are you going to play to that standard? And that's something that clearly all of us want to see. Number 49 right there, that is Quay Russo um, getting in some work with the outside linebackers. Number 41, that is Chris Broswell. Um, Q Robinson, we didn't see a lot of Q Robinson in that last game. Only played in seven snaps, which I thought was really interesting. Uh, Keanu Coot right there, number 19. And then number 35, that is Jeremiah Alexander. 30, 49 is uh, Quay Russo. And um, yeah, number 31, that is Keon Keeley before they cut uh, the clip, number 11 on the wide receivers, that is Malik Benson. Number uh, three, that is Jermaine Burton. We just released the player grades. He's been playing at a very high level. Ja'Cory Brooks. Um, Milrow went to him, I think, once or twice against Texas. Uh, haven't seen him too much from Brooks, but we have seen a lot from Kobe Prentice. Kobe Prentice and Jermaine Burton probably playing at the highest level in terms of the wide receiver play early on this season, which is uh, really good for that wide receiver room. That was Shaz Preston number 18, and then you have Jaron Hamilton, who is number 16, and then again, number 14, that is going to be uh, Jalen Hale, who's uh, seen making a couple good catches in this clip. Number 22 right there, that is Justice Haynes. Uh, didn't get on the field against the Texas Longhorns. Here's Roydell Williams. Uh, spoke to him today as well. Another very solid running back for uh, the Crimson Tide. And I thought Jace ran well against Texas. I would have liked to see him get more carries. Uh, here is uh, Jam Miller. Um, had a couple opportunities against uh, Texas. Still want to see that running game get going at some point. Number 45, that is Robbie Oots. Uh, number 88, that is Mile Ketzelman. Number 81, that is C.J. Dupree. Number 87 is Danny Lewis. Um, number 84 back there, that is um, Amari Nyblack, uh, who's been having a great season for the Alabama Crimson Tide thus far. Um, really excited about his play um, through the early season, at least. Um, I think when you look to this, uh, you know, the, this linebacking unit, you want to see pass rush. You want to see these guys be aggressive. Now, with that said, Deontay Lawson is playing at a high level. I think he has one of the highest grades on pro football focus, and I'm not surprised to see that. I knew that coming into the season, Deontay Lawson would play at a very high level. Glad to see him performing really high um, in terms of grades early on through two games. Here's a defensive line. These guys haven't graded out the best uh, just yet. I know they had a tall task uh, going up against Texas front. Um, so did the outside linebackers. So there's still um, a long season ahead of us. But what is this identity going to be from the defensive front? Big, nasty. We want to see these guys be imposing. We've talked about Jaheim Otis kind of rising up, the veteran leadership from uh, Justin Abogbe. Have these guys displayed that just yet? I would say no. But, um, you know, you have a big SEC game coming up here in two weeks for an opportunity to prove that and to develop that identity. And I, I think if you were to ask Coach Saban about the offense and defense, he's probably still too early. Some teams can find that content, continuity earlier than others. This team hasn't done that. We spoke about the offensive line. Um, it wasn't a great showing against Texas. They were bullied. They know that. J.C. Latham does have a good uh, grade on pro football focus when you look to um, his pass blocking. Now, Seth really struggled against Texas. Um, so did Darian Dalcourt. So these guys, again, are going to be watching. I'm curious to see if Eric Wolford makes any adjustments with that offensive line if we start to see some new players come in. Um, I was going through the grades, and 
also looking at the snap counts, and I found it interesting that Terrence Ferguson hasn't seen too much playing time just yet because during fall camp, Coach Saban said he looked at him as a starter. So I um, want to continue to track that when we look at this offensive line. I'm going to let this footage run again. You guys can check it out. Kyle Henderson and Bama Football on YouTube. Hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe. I appreciate you guys watching and subscribing and being a part of our Bama Football on YouTube family. From beautiful Tuscaloosa, Alabama, Kyle Henderson, a Bama Football on YouTube. Here we go. Oh, you got 
Thank you. 